how do you live here? How how does it work? I mean, for athletes, do they bring you in and pay for everything? Do you guys have to pay your own way, or is it? It kind of depends on which program you're in. For on-site athletes, like you apply to be on-site, mm-hmm. and then you know you move your stuff out here, and USATF pays for wow. our room and board and our training and everything, which is great. That's amazing. Um, yeah. A lot of athletes don't have that and don't have the resources we have here and some of the people who are training here live off-site and pay for they pay to train here yeah they pay for housing and they pay for food and all of that and to travel and we're incredibly lucky that we don't have to do that yeah so what's the qualifications would you say I mean do they come to you or do you go to them or how does it work um, you just apply and if they accept your application they basically tell you that you can move out here and how many track and field athletes do you guys have currently i mean residing here is it a lot or not that many or um probably about 15 to 20 i'm not really sure Uh, we have a lot of people who train here and paralympic track trains here also and rugby men's and women and archery yeah (laughs) i think so it's nice to have other sports here as well yeah more diversity so Mm -hmm. i've talked to a lot of other coaches and a lot of other athletes who are on the same plan and it's hard being in track and field because there's not a lot of money in it right right i mean it's a sacrifice you guys are making and can you just share a little bit about being an athlete in the sport because It seems tough at times, unless you're sponsored and you have the means to make a real living. Mm -hmm. So track is interesting in that to be a professional athlete, it's not really defined. I mean, you can have sponsors or you cannot have sponsors. You can get into meets, you cannot get into meets. And the line between being a post-collegiate vaulter and being a professional vaulter isn't really there. So I was lucky enough out of college to be able to get a sponsor in Wazelle and to be a part of the New York Athletic Club and, you know, to have an agent who's looking out for me. But a lot of people don't have that. Um, A lot of people don't live at the Elite Athlete Training Center where we have a weight room and a training room and a complete staff here to help us. They're out in the middle of nowhere training who knows what. Right, and don't have the resources we do. So... It's pretty difficult sometimes to be able to make the sacrifices and continue training for a lot of people. 